good morning to all the first year uh, bsc nursing students i think you are safe at home and reading well i hope it in the last session we discussed regarding the what are the different uh, purpose of uh, drugs as well as the what are the rights of the drug administration we discussed then i hope uh, the topic you are uh, understood well and uh, you may you are able to write the notes on that then uh, in this class uh, today we are going to discuss regarding the what are the different forms of medications or drugs what are the different forms of uh, medications as well as the routes of drug administration in, a, in the last class we know the what are the different principles uh, we have to follow when we are going to administer the drugs then as a nurses uh, what we have to do while administering uh, the drugs uh, we know the rules and at the same time we should know the different forms of drugs or the forms of the medications first then these are the these medications are classified in many ways according to their clinical composition and according to the use of uh, drugs as well as the systemic way of uh, use, use of drugs and all so along with all these things we have to learn regarding the what are the different forms of the drugs and all. coming to the different forms of the drugs which are classified like solids for example tablets or capsules then coming to liquids liquids means example the syrup or eye drops then semi semi solids those are the ointments and lotions okay i think you are able to understand uh, the uh, forms of drugs that the drugs may be in uh, so many forms so they are classified according to the use and at the same time the uh, how the patient uh, what is the condition of the patient is uh, patient is able to um, take orally or iv and other things so based on all those things that the drugs are classified into three types those are solids liquids and semi solids solids means tablets and capsules liquids means syrup and dye drops then semi solids means uh, ointments and lotions coming to the the solids uh, those are called as especially the tablets we know the different tablets are used for different uh, purposes so these tablet uh, means uh, it is the powdered medication this is the powdered medication compressed into hard disk or cylinder like you can uh, see it in this uh, picture side picture so many tablets which are there and uh, with that uh, there is a this may be this tablet may be the sugar coating or have fine coating or cohesion okay that is the tablet then coming to the capsule capsule is nothing but it is a powder to drug the medication covered in gelatin shell we can call it as a the capsule capsule may be you can see in uh, the side by uh, the figure which is present there so these capsules are the cylindrical like uh, means you can see mostly then coming to the gel or jelly jelly means a clear or uh, trans translucent or semi solid that uh, liquefies when applied to the skin these gels which are clear or maybe translucent semi solid that liquefies when applied to the skin and the skin me the apply chesina apude em avutundi it dissolves and uh, so you can see the gel which is uh, the side by side you can have a fever Uh, figure you have a figure so just have a look uh, the like uh, gel or jelly how it is then coming to the another thing lozenges lozenges means a flat round oval preparation that dissolves and releases 
a drug when held in the mouth. You can see the strepsils lozenges. So those are the strepsils cough lozenges. They will use for the cough, subsiding the cough or treating the cough. It is a rounded one and oval. It may be flat, round or oval in shape. And which is the, the preparation that dissolves and releases a drug when held in the mouth. Then note lo pet kunna puru it drug ke ma thundi dissolve by poyi adi a karigi poyi drug kuni release just to hundo thamma. So that is the action of the lozenges. Then coming to the lotion, the drug particles in a solution for a topical use. These lotions we can use for we can use in skin diseases, disorders and all. So side by side you can see the figure. Ointment means you are well known regarding this ointment. Maybe it is nothing but it is a semi-solid preparation containing a drug to be applied externally. External application ointment is nothing but it is a the semi-solid preparation and which uh, which will be applied on skin externally for the, the therapeutic purpose. Okay, that is the ointment. Then powder. Powder is nothing but single or mixture of finely ground drugs. Ground drugs which will be used. That is the powder. Then coming to the solution. It is also one of the form of the medication or drug. Solution is nothing but a drug dissolved in another substance. Here in the figure you can see the solution which is in the container, the bottle container. The drug which is present inside the bottle, the drug the dissolved in another substance. The drug which is present inside it is also dissolved in another substance. So, it is a solution. Then coming to the suspension. Suspension is nothing but the finely divided undissolved particles in a liquid medium. Liquid medium. The suspension finely divided. It is finely divided undissolved particles in a liquid medium. Uh, the liquid medium low dissolve corner 20 particles die. So, when we want to take that uh, suspension means we have to shake it well uh, before use so that this finely undissolved particles will be dissolved in the liquid and uh, we can take. So, that is the suspension meaning. Then syrup. Syrup is nothing but medication combined in a water and sugar solution. So, it is easy. It, we can use uh, the most of these syrups for children as well as the cough syrups like we can use uh, uh, okay then coming to the suppositories suppository and easily melted medication preparation in foam base such as a gelatin that is inserted into the body means maybe in the rectum or maybe in the vagina or in urethra so when you when we will in, insert these uh, suppository inside the rectum it dissolves and releases uh, the medicine so the action will be served so that is the suppository okay then transdermal patch transdermal patch is nothing but it is a unit dose of medication means a small patch you can see it on her this um, hand and all, no? so that is the patch of medication which is applied directly to the skin for diffusion through skin and absorb into the bloodstream. You know the, the different uh, means so diffusion, what do you mean by diffusion? So the drug with the transdermal patch uh, which will be work and diff diffusion, the drug will be applied to the skin for diffusion through the process of diffusion the skin absorbs and it will be a going inside the bloodstream okay that is the transdermal patch then uh, this um, in this we can see uh, the some of the drug forms like uh, the emulsions emulsion means it is a suspension with the oil base which is present 
so emulsion is nothing but it is a suspension which is having the oil base okay then coming to the another uh, the aqueous solution aqueous solution is nothing but one or more drugs dissolved in water aqueous solution is nothing but the one or more drugs which are dissolved in water then aqueous suspension means uh, one or more drugs finely divided into liquids such as water okay that is the aqueous suspension then uh, coming to the pill it is a single dose unit made by mixing the powder drug with liquids such as uh, syrup and rolling the mixture into round or oval shape okay then uh, if this pill will be today's uh, the, uh, these days uh, can be formed like a tablet and as well as a capsule and all okay that is then the spansule spansule is nothing but a drug it is also one form of drug it is a drug made in a capsule in such a way that there is a slow release of it contains and provide provided effect over a long period this uh, spansule is nothing but spansule ante em ledu manam capsule lo em anjeptunnamo capsule lo medicine inside lo untundi adi note lo veskunnappudu stomach lo dissolve ayipoyi adi absorb aitundi anku ee spansule elagante capsule laagane untundi but em aitundi deentlo unna drug slow ga release ay long acting lo untundi that is called as a spansule then uh, coming to the some of the paste means uh, the preparation like ointment for external use like um, frequently thick and stiff and penetrates uh, the skin less than ointment okay these are the uh, some of the forms of the drugs then coming to the forms of the drugs the lotion also the emollient liquid may be clear solution or suspension which are applied to the skin so lotions also to be present so these are the um, uh, forms of the drugs as a first year bsc nursing student we should know okay, you should know regarding the what are the different forms of the drugs which are available when doctor order to you you can take means get tablet paracetamol means you you should know which form is it or means uh, like uh, other uh, the solution or suspension means uh, syrup means you can bring so for that knowledge you should know regarding the different forms of the drugs which are available and we can uh, see in or we will learn the the nurse should know each and every form in order to um, administer the drug or in order to know the things correctly mm -hmm. this is the the forms of the drugs then another thing coming to the rules of drug administration coming to the rules of drug administration is a different one like drugs may be administered in different uh, ways those are the oral and the parenteral and topical or inhalations then uh, the rules of the administration are classified like oral means uh, here we can see the drug um, rules of administration of drugs we can classify like this also external use then parental use and topical use coming to the external use the oral drugs and sublingual drugs and the rectal uh, drugs then coming to the parental root drugs that is the intravenous intramuscular subcutaneous intraperitoneal intrathecal intramedullary intraarterial intraarticular and subcutaneous and intradermal and intracardiac epidural and inhalation and intrapleural drugs these are all the parental roots of drugs then coming to the third one that is the topical root topical means these are the ointments the ocular conjunctival roots and vaginal and urethral roots and also transcutaneous that is the the skin and all. so these are all the 
roots are the ducts. Then we will see one by one uh, like the oral roots means uh, the external roots of external external root in the external root of drugs we can say the oral root and the sublingual root and as well as the buccal administration and the rectal root. Then coming to the oral root medications are given by mouth so they will take um, they will take by the mouth those drugs are called as the the oral root drugs. Then coming to the sublingual administration, some medications are readily absorbed when placed under the tongue to dissolve. Sublingual and the sub means in lingual means tongue. Tongue in the better drugs in administration, just drugs in what we can call it as sublingual administration. So, manam naalak in the way the drugs pedta mawi ready ga dissolve hai koi activity action start out on this. So those drugs are called as the sublingual drugs. Then coming to the buccal administration. Buccal administration means that the medications are placing in the mouth against the mucous membrane of cheeks. Okay. Until it dissolves the medication by placing in the mouth. Not low the mucous membrane uh, administration of medication by placing the placing in the mouth. Ikada mana mangeas na mo note lo tablet perdu na mana mata. Ekada perdu na mo again is the mucous membrane of the cheek. So again is the mucous membrane of the cheek. The kara petra lam valla ay may tunay. Yento sa perdu na mo ay dissolve ay laga perdu na. Anta sa perdu na mata. Ala petra lam valla ay may tunay. Easy absorption out of the function, uh, drug of action start out of the. Those drugs are the called as this route of administration is called as the buccal administration. Then another the root, uh, the, the rectal root. Coming to the rectal root, the drugs which are administered through, through the rectum. In Mundu Manam Eman Japunam, supposed to be San Japunam, the rectal root, like Adi, Leda, Enima Kuda. So, even the good external roots, Manam roots of drug administration, law classification, law Manam three types, Japunam, external use of a tea, the root of parental root of a tea, topical root and Japunam. External root like a Chapatamanam and Japnam, oral drugs and Japnam, oral root, sublingual root. Buccal administration as well as the rectal root. Okay, this is the first one. Then coming to the parental root. Parental root law, second root of administration. Parental root law, we can say so many drugs which we can give when we are using this root regularly for all the patients and especially the, the who are unable to take orally or maybe some drugs to be given by this way parental roots uh, essentially so the uh, parental root administration involves injecting a medication into the body cavity ikkada manam em chestunnamo injections ni body cavity loki inject chestunnam by the syringes and all other ways so the following are the four major sites uh, means uh, intradermal means uh, the injection into the dermis uh, just to under the epidermis, that is the skin layer, intradermal. So, subcutaneous, the subcutaneous means injection into tissues just below the dermis of the skin. Okay, those are called as the subcutaneous. Then coming to the intramuscular means injection which are injecting into directly into the muscle and intravenous means injections into the veins we can see. In this figure, you can see clearly regarding here the skin layers as well as the muscle. You can see if you see the, the uppermost layer epidermis, dermis, as well as the subcutaneous tissue which is present underneath the subcutaneous tissue, we can see the muscle. So, when you are going to administer the uh, some of the drugs with the parental root. In this parental root, you can see the intramuscular injection means we are injecting the drug directly into the muscle. So, we are taking the, the large needle 
and the syringe we are directly in the 90 degree angle we are injecting the drug so injecting the drug to the muscle so that is called as the intramuscular then coming to the subcutaneous this is the 45 degree angle we can see the subcutaneous tissue which is present there we are injecting the drug then some of the drugs which which we are introducing or injecting inside the veins those are those root is that root is called as the intravenous root then another root intradermal root intradermal root we can see some of the insulin injections which can be given here you can see the intramuscular injections as well as root intra intramuscular root as well as the um, the subcutaneous route of injections and intravenous injections and intradermal also we can see in here and uh, some of the medications uh, in this uh, a route also the parental route also we can some administered into the body cavities these are including epidural in, uh, in epidural route and intra intrathecal route and intraosseous route and intra peritoneal route and uh, intra pleural route and intra arterial routes okay let us discuss regarding one by one clearly here epidural drugs means epidural medications are administered into the epidural space some of these specific drugs which are introduced into the epidural space uh, where um, the by the these are the medication in the epidural space via catheter these drugs are introduced here in the figure you can see the catheter which is introduced inside the epidural space and uh, placed in them this is the placed by the anesthesiology anesthesiologist used for administration of analgesia post operatively means after surgery so many patients are unable to the um, they are suffering with pain and all for that but uh, for relieving of the pain the analgesia to be given in uh, serious conditions and all so the anesthetist will introduce the catheter into the epidural space and giving the analgesia uh, post operatively so this is the one type of the drug the severe patients uh, that means like cancerous conditions and uh, severe pains uh, means uh, like the patients this uh, epidural anesthesiologist uh, analgesia to be given so and uh, that is the epidural administration of drug then coming to the in intrathecal administration of medication means into the administration of medication into subarachnoid space or one of the ventricles of the brain intrathecal means the here also the introduction of uh, the drug which is present means in the thecally they are administering then the catheter to be introduced and uh, this uh, so these are the drugs then intraosseous uh, administration of medication directly the injection is directly into the bone marrow then intraperitoneal means uh, the drugs which are administered into the peritoneal cavity then um, that is the intraperitoneal administration of the drug some of the drugs are in the intrapleurally we can give the pleural means the lungs with the pleural space which is present there so administration of medications dire directly into the uh, the pleural space we are injecting the root is called as the intrapleural root then intra arterial root intra arterial medications are administered directly into the arteries okay then these are the some of the drugs which are present and here we can see the different uh, types then some of the drugs are which are present uh, in concussion 
in concussion it is the administration of drug by rubbing them on the skin this allows the absorption of drug into the uh, cutaneous circulation and produce the effects so in concussion that is the nitroglycerin ointments for systemic effect some of the glucocorticoids for lo local effect of the skin lesions and all some of the anti fungal drugs and uh, some of the antibiotic drugs which are present then um, some of the the ocular drugs then some of the drugs which are released um, the, uh, by the then uh, the intraosseous so the these are the drugs intraarterial intrapleural and intraarterial intraarterial medications are administered directly into the arteries and all. so some of the drugs which are the topical routes okay the topical routes which will be there means the topical means medications applied to the skin and mucous membrane mucous membrane means the mucous membrane wherever it is present means eye the conjunctiva the ears which is present and nose mouth and mucous membrane which is also present in the vagina and the urethra and rectum so these are the topical routes of drug administration this is the third one then coming to the inhalation route inhalation route of administration of drugs the inhaled the you know drug administer inhaled medications through the nasal or oral passages or endotheic endotracheal or tracheostomy tubes in this here you can see the some of the the child which is having the the time uh, mask and uh, the with that the inhalation will be happen and also the nebulizer here she is um, the asthma asthma patient inhaling the uh, drug with inhaler and here the the tube which is inserting that is the the endo uh, tracheal tube which are present or uh, sometimes tracheostomy also the inhalations also to be present so these are the the drugs which are the routes of the drugs which are available like uh, means routes of the drugs external route parenteral route or topical route we can give the drugs and all so when you are going to give this uh, drugs whatever route it may be maybe the these drugs are having some action means why we are giving the drugs means for the purpose for the a therapeutic purpose coming to the therapeutic purpose means these types of drugs having certain action action means the therapeutic effect therapeutic effect is nothing but these drugs will be used for the treatment then not only these drugs are used for treatment then whatever drug it is there means each drug is having their side effects and side effects side effects adverse effects and toxic effects allergic reactions and um, idiosyncratic uh, reactions also there so like uh, the medications are having this uh, activities and uh, this uh, therapeutic effects so let us discuss regarding the therapeutic effects means nothing but it is uh, the expected or predicted physiological response that medication causes means for example you have pain means uh, in order to reduce the pain and uh, we will give the paracetamol and fever also some inflammation means the present the fever pain and inflammation present means we the doctor will prescribe the paracetamol tablet that is the therapeutic use means the way it the action of the paracetamol is to reduce the pain as well as the fever reduce the fever and also reduces the inflammatory action so this um, this paracetamol tablet is having the therapeutic effects that is called as the therapeutic like that only each and every drug is having this uh, the therapeutic drug uh, you can learn those things in uh, pharmacology in second year okay let us discuss regarding along with therapeutic effect uh, what effects are having these drugs and these drugs are having some side effects or maybe adverse effects side effects means nothing but every medication cause some harm to the patient side effects are along with the therapeutic purpose 
the some uh, how will be happen to the patient that we cannot be able to avoid those are unavoidable things side effects are predictable and often unavoidable secondary secondary effects produced at the a usual therapeutic dose so the side effects means uh, if you take some antibiotics means what happens nausea the side effects uh, comes like nausea loss of appetite and the stomach pain this we can see when you are administering the paracetamol tablet and all then coming to the adverse effects adverse effects more undesirable or unpredictable severe response to medication we if uh, these adverse effects are nothing but uh, undesirable or unpredictable we can't predict uh, by taking these antibiotics these nausea vomiting which are coming under we can't say what happens to that patient those effects are called as adverse effects uh, of a certain medication then some toxic effects also can be seen while taking the drugs for some drugs uh, we can see the toxic effects these toxic effects develop after prolonged intake of medication or when medication accumulates in the blood because of impaired metabolism or excretion the, that is the the toxic effects the toxic effects develops if develop aitai manam oka drug nu chaala kaalam vaadinatlaite అప్పుడు ఏమైతుంది ఆ డ్రగ్ అంతా కూడా ఏమైతుంది మన బ్లడ్ లో అలాగనే స్టాగ్నేట్ అయ్యి ఆమె ఏమైతుంది మెడి మెటబాలిజం ఇంపేర్ అయిపోతుంది మెటబాలిజం ఇంపేర్ అయితుంది ఎక్స్క్రీషన్ సరిగ్గా జరగదు అలాంటి టైంలో ఏమైతుంది లివర్ డ్యామేజ్ అవుతుంది లేదా కిడ్నీ డ్యామేజ్ అవుతుంది దోస్ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ టాక్సిక్ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ వీ కెన్ ఫాల్ ఇన్ దిస్ దెన్ కమింగ్ టు ద అలర్జిక్ రియాక్షన్స్ and uh, these allergic reactions are unpredictable immunological responses to a medication unpredictable immunological responses to a medication those are if you call it as a paracetamol allergic reaction to paracetamol means paracetamol ichinappudu allergic reaction vaste em aitundi rash swelling these like this we can say like um, the allergic reactions also to be the happen if uh, may happen to the patients while taking the drugs or while administering the drugs okay then coming to the idiosyncratic reactions idiosyncratic reaction a patient over reacts or under reacts to medication ఏదైనా మెడికేషన్ ఇచ్చినప్పుడు పేషెంట్ ఏమవుతాడు ఆ డ్రగ్కు నార్మల్గా రియాక్ట్ కావాలి అలా కాకుండా ఏమవుతుంది ఓవర్గా కానీ లేకపోతే అండర్గా కానీ ఏమైతే రియాక్ట్ అవుతుండ అలా రియాక్ట్ అయినప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది ఈ అలా జరిగే రియాక్షన్ అది డిఫర్ ఫ్రమ్ నార్మల్ నార్మల్ కంటే డిఫరెంట్గా ఉంటుంది అలా ఎలా జరుగుతు ఇలాగైతుంది ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఒక చిన్న పిల్లవాడికి మనము ద రిసీవ్స్ ద చైల్డ్ హూ రిసీవ్స్ బెనడ్రిల్ కాఫ్ సిరా బెనడ్రిల్ కాఫ్ సిరాప్ మనం ఎందుకు ఇస్తాము చైల్డ్కు కాఫ్ రాకుండా వాటి ట్రౌజీగా ఉండేలాగా మనం అది అంటే కాఫ్ వేయిస్తాము అంటే యాక్టివ్ యాక్షన్ కొంచెం డ్రౌజినెస్ ఆల్సో అలాంగ్ విత్ మెయిన్ యాక్షన్ డ్రౌజినెస్ ఆల్సో విల్ బీ దే సో అలాగ రావాలి నార్మల్గా అయితే బట్ ఏమవుతుంది ద in this uh, idiosyncratic reactions ante a baby emindi a pillavadu extremely agitated gaane excited instead of drowsy ekkuva excited gaane ekkuva extremely agitation lo gaani undi potadu anamata so alanti reaction normal ga jaragalsina reaction kaakunda ekkuva gaani takkuva gaani reactions mean excitement gaani ilanti vastu unde manam em antam manni vaatini ఇడియోసింక్రైనిటిక్ రియాక్షన్స్ అనేసి అంటూ ఉంటాం అనమాట ఓకే దిస్ ఈస్ ద దీస్ ఆర్ ద సమ్ ఆఫ్ ది రియాక్షన్స్ విచ్ అక్కర్స్ టు ది పేషెంట్స్ వైల్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రింగ్ ద డ్రగ్స్ అన్నారు సో ఐ థింక్ టిల్ నౌ వీఆర్ డిస్కస్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద different forms of medications or drugs which are available like uh, those are the different forms uh, tablet emulsions and capsules uh, suspensions and uh, other uh, syrups uh, like that we discussed and uh, 
then along with all those uh, the different routes of administration of drugs also to be discussed in mean, here and coming to the different routes those are the oral and as well as the, um, the injection parental route as well as the topical routes also be discussed here and along with all these drugs while taking the drugs what are the different activities actions which are okay means uh, that is therapeutic action of the drugs and the side effects and adverse effects of the drugs also to be we discussed and we know the different uh, the effects which are uh, thus uh, occurs to the drugs and all so by this session you are able to understand this uh, what are the different forms which are available then what are the different types of uh, the roots also present here so i think uh, you are understand this topic and we will discuss uh, next topic uh, later so read well and all the best okay if you are unable to understand means you can ask uh, me in different ways and uh, you you are able to write for this topic your know, assignment the you can write down the notes and different routes and forms of uh, drug administration then you can write down the notes and prepare a small uh, the two marks uh, uh, questions and answers for that means uh, supposed uh, suppository means uh, what do you mean by suppository then what are the drug uh, forms uh, then a uh, topical application like uh, small things you can uh, write, write down uh, clearly then like uh, intracardiac administration of drug also one of the drug which we can see in a uh, vehicle and give the drug directly into the heart and uh, that is the um, long needle we will use a long needle through the left to fourth intercostal space close to the sternum in any in the sudden cardiac arrest means uh, the adrenal is given by this route uh, to restart the heartbeat and all which is most important uh, the route of administration intracardiac administration so i can note down that uh, intracardiac also i can include and uh, write in um, the routes of drug administration okay then prepare well for class okay thank you